Good morning, everybody. So it is day three of this rebuilding running journey. And uh, so we talked yesterday a little bit about food and trying to get back on track with some of that and not eating complete garbage all the time. Not that I was eating complete garbage all the time, but, you know, got to pay a little bit more attention now that I'm getting back into the running and aiming for a 40 miler. So this morning we have a nice breakfast here. I'm going to show you and also read off what's in it, but we got some oats, we got some mixed berries, some flax, some hemp seeds, some brown sugar and stevia mix, and a couple of Brazil nuts. And let me show you this beautiful, beautiful bowl of oatmeal. There we go. Look at that. Look at these beautiful berries in there. Mm. I am very excited about that. Can I have that with my, or as my breakfast, I already had some coffee. And then in a couple of hours, I'll head out for a run, just a short one, and catch up with you then. Good morning. So, you know, let's turn the heat off. Uh, yeah, I got the heat on this morning. It is six degrees Celsius, so that's like maybe 42. Yeah, 42, 43 Fahrenheit. Uh, cool morning, cool morning for sure. This isn't running though. Um, I am making a trip to the post office. So one of the things I've been doing that's been using up a lot of my time as I've been getting this established this year is a reselling business. So I do a lot of uh, reselling, thrifting and reselling and things like that on eBay, Facebook Marketplace and a few other spots on occasion, but mostly eBay. Um, Q4, fourth quarter, it is here because wow, the sales have just been absolutely insane. And I am now on my way to the post office with, I think I've got eight packages here from sales just from over the weekend. But I actually have a couple at home that I haven't even packed up yet or gotten ready uh, because they just came in like last night or this morning. And then I also have one at home that uh, is a tracked packet that's going to the US but I'm not taking it today because on Tuesdays I get one free tracked packet to the U.S. and one free expedited parcel in Canada. That's Tuesdays in October through Canada Post for being a small business um, member with their whole program there. So I'm going to wait till tomorrow, which is actually today, the day that you're watching this video. Because right now I'm filming on Monday. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to wait to take advantage of the free shipping. I always set myself to five day handling time because I never know if I'm going to be away for a couple of days, dog sitting, doing something, or just, you know what, I just want to have that ability to be like, all right, well, I, I, I'll go to the post office one day this week and that'll be enough. Usually I'm going more than that anyway. Usually I'm shipping out within a couple of days of somebody placing their order, but I just like to have that ability so that I'm not getting you know, flagged with late shipments or having buyers hounding me. When are you shipping my item? You know, then I can just refer them to the um, five-day handling thing. So, all right, I am at the post office now. I'm going to run inside, mail these things out, and then get home, do a little bit more work, regular job work, and then head out for my run. I'll see you in a bit. All right, here we are on the run. Just uh, had to take a quick stop to tie these damn shoes again. The A6 Noble Blast, I love these shoes. I love them, I love them, I love them. They feel so good on my feet and they won't stay tied. Even double knotting them, they just come undone. I have tried everything. I'm gonna have to relace them, obviously that's the answer, but you know, I was trying to put that off and just thinking, oh no, I can do something different. I can't. They, uh, they come undone, they come untied regularly, and it's just a complete pain in the ass. So, I do love the shoes. Very comfortable, you know, they do everything I need them to do, except stay on my effing feet. But anyway, it's, uh, it's one of those things. So, I'll have to relace them, put some different laces in there, something that uh, 
just has some substance and sticks to itself and like the uh what i don't get is why you would have such terrible laces on these nova blast but yet the nimbus have these really just great sticky laces that stay together like you could wear the nimbus and never have to worry about that coming undone just never gonna happen but yet same company they go with these thin little stupid laces that uh anyway okay rant done for the day day three it's cool out here but i've got you know the windbreaker on over a very light long sleeve it's warmed up to you know probably 50 fahrenheit so that's not terrible but yeah still pretty cool out here um but oh well all right so i've learned how to tie my shoes i'm gonna get back to this run i got a nice um, got a nice, like, peanut tofu wrap waiting for lunch. So that's going to be exciting. Can't wait to get back to that. So let's get out of it. All right, so the biggest sign that I'm not really in that great a shape is the fact that I'm sweating fairly profusely after just 3K. But I got 3K done for day three, so, you know, feeling all right. Despite having to retie those shoes a couple of times. Um, not too bad. And now I'm going to fuel up. Jamie has made me a lovely lunch here. I'll show you guys. We've got a nice uh, peanut tofu wrap and a, what is it, African peanut stew? Mm. Let's take a look at this. All right, so there is the stew. And that's got some onions, celery, uh, sweet potato, navy beans, tomatoes. And these are both with no added salt. We've got some coconut milk and peanut butter in there. And then this wrap, which has, so it's just half a whole wheat wrap with some mixed greens, carrot, purple cabbage, red onion, cucumber, and peanut tofu. So that's how I'm going to refuel today. Again, just trying to uh, get some good whole or whole-ish foods in the stomach after these workouts and trying to uh, get myself back in shape. All right, and so for dinner today, we're having this nice rice bowl with lots of greens and uh, romaine lettuce there. I guess that is romaine lettuce, not greens, but uh, some salsa, some homemade guacamole. We've got some peppers, it looks like, and green onions. And looks like maybe some white onion in there as well. I don't know, Jamie prepared this. Uh, and then also we're just having a few uh, tortilla chips or nacho chips with some homemade guac as well. So we've got just a little bit of leftover uh, ground, like beyond ground that we had from nachos from the other night. So that's in there as well. All right, just capping off the day here with a nice evening walk. Just wanna thank everybody for taking the time to join me today and Take a little glimpse into day three of this rebuilding journey as it is. <laughs> it's uh, we're getting there. Hey, every 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 journey starts with a with a step or something like that. Isn't what the, that what the old saying says? Anyway, beautiful evening, a little cool, but trying to stay active, burn off a little bit of that dinner, and uh, call it a day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.